Hello, um, so I'm making this video to assist you to be able to um, create a virtual machine from a virtual machine hard disk VHDX or VHD. So first of all, you have to make sure that the machine that you have or you want to install the virtual machine on is um, it, it support virtual machine manager. So Windows 10 Pro 64-bit versions, um, Enterprise and Education versions, these are the versions that support Microsoft Hyper-V Manager, okay, aside from the servers. So um, if the machine you are going to install this um, virtual machine on is a server, you don't have to worry, possibly it will have it. Um, but if it is just a regular Windows desktop, uh, make sure that the operating system is um, Windows um, 10 plus okay so um, let's begin so first you have to make sure that uh, Microsoft Hyper-V manager is enabled on the computer how do you determine that you have to click on your start and go to your control panel control so control panel so once you are on control panel you click on programs and then click on turn on future on or off windows feature you know okay turn windows feature on or off click on that and it's going to bring you the microsoft windows futures so in the futures list you have to look for hyper v make sure that hyper v is checked okay so you click here and then make sure that Hyper-V management tools is checked and Hyper-V platform is checked. And you click on OK and it will install the Hyper-V manager for you. Okay. Now once the Hyper-V manager is installed, you click on your stats button and type Hyper-V manager. When you click on Hyper-V Manager, it's going to open the Hyper-V Manager for you. So now you have a Hyper-V Manager on your um, workstation. So now how do you build the virtual machine out of the virtual machine hard disk that you download? So when you download the virtual machine hard disk, this is how it's going to look like. It will look like this. This is how the virtual machine hard disk is going to look like. Okay, so make sure that you download that. So once you download that, um, now we are about to start building the virtual machine. So you click on the virtual machine manager. It's going to open up like this. So you right click on the virtual machine server over here. Let me bring it out a little bit more. So you see here, you right click on that. And click on new then virtual machine so that's gonna bring you to the virtual machine creation window so or the new virtual machine wizard now you click on next and you're gonna type the name of the machine what name are you going to give to it so let's say I'm gonna give it let's say Windows XP okay then here by default it's going to store the virtual machine on your C program data Microsoft Microsoft Windows and Hyper-V that's the default location however if you want to store it on a different location it's fine please remember this stored location is just where the local files are gonna reside okay so you can decide to choose a different location and put it somewhere else if you don't want the default location okay but for me, it's okay for it to be on the local, the local, um, the default location is fine. So you can click next, and then first generation is okay. Next, then you choose how much memory you want this virtual machine to have, and you can choose maybe 20, 48, that is two gigabytes. Then, if you want it like let's say the computer is exhausting resources and you wonder when it's about to exhaust resources can go for what more memory you can enable use dynamic memory with this virtual machine okay 
so you can click next and if you want to connect it to the network it's fine if you don't want to you can just isolate it temporary but I will encourage that you connect it to the network so that if you are when you finish building the machine if there are any updates that it needs to do it will be a lot easier for you to do that or even if you want to activate it online so it's important that you connect it to the internet or your virtual machine switch okay so by default I have these switches I already this is the default one so I can decide to say okay connect to the default is fine if you also decide to create a whole new other virtual machine switch it's fine as well so but I am connecting with the default switch so next now this is the most important part remember you are not building a new machine that you are going to install a whole new operating system the goal is to build the virtual machine out of what a virtual machine hard disk that you have been provided okay so make sure that you click on use an existing virtual hard disk use an existing virtual hard disk so now this will give you the chance to browse to where you downloaded that uh, hard disk to so in this case this is gonna be on my network path so I can decide to use the network path or but it's much better that you have the hard drive on your local location please please download it first and then browse to where you downloaded it okay so actually I'll use this 2.3 So I'm gonna I think I copied it to so I need to find the location of where is it at okay so in this particular instance I can decide to choose anything okay so let's say assuming this was the location of the file that I want to build I mean of the computer that I want to build so I can just select the drive from here okay and then click on open this is the most important part. Remember, you have to build the machine from a drive that you've been provided, a virtual machine hard drive. So wherever you download it to, make sure that you click on your browse and search the location and select it. This is how it will look like. Then you click on open. It's going to now select it. OK, so it has been selected. Then you can say next and finish. It's going to build the virtual machine for you. Easy as that okay so in this case please ensure okay that's this is one of the issues if you are picking the virtual machine hard drive from the network you might you might need permission to access all of that is a lot of work that's why I ask you to download it to your downloads possibly or to somewhere locally so that you can just easily map it see this is the issue because it won't allow me because of permission issues so please make sure that you download the thing to your local maybe download folder and then you can build the machine from there once the machine is built you just right click on the machine and start the machine that's all you need to do if you have any errors okay. please let me know or get back to me so that I can be able to assist you to troubleshoot further thank you so much I hope this has been very helpful for you